Forefathers Brewing Company got started uh, the old-fashioned way, and it's basically four friends who got together through something we all love, and that's hockey and our children. Uh, we are actually four dads, uh, four beautiful young men who played hockey together as uh, seven-year-olds. Got to know each other, spent a lot of time together, started uh, becoming a little more passionate about our tastes in beer, and uh, wanted to spend time together brewing. I think we were a little bit unusual compared to a lot of our other hockey friends and that from the, the get-go all of us had different tastes and interests in beer. Um, I think overall uh, our taste buds tended to move towards India Pale Ales, hoppy beers, a little more of su substance to them, a little bitter um, and just a little more enjoyable as a taste experience compared to most of the average beers. We ended up in this location um, just north of, of Brucedale, uh, in part because we're a small brewery and we're taking baby steps. We started by kitchen brewing like everyone else does and uh, the next obvious step was to move to a facility where we could actually brew our beer successfully and build and enjoy it with our friends and family. And so this is actually, uh, this is a, a converted barn that's part of one of our partner's uh, properties and uh, it's conveniently located. It also en it enables us to be able to uh, provide people who come to our facility an opportunity to know us and what we stand for. There's, uh, if you look around us here, uh, we have pool tables and um, you know, bubble hockey and table tennis. It's a place where people can commune and can enjoy each other's company. And I think it also, in the best of times, also looks like a place where families live. And that's, again, something that's very, very important to us. The area around Guelph in Wellington County has been historical, you know, historically has been a place of brewing where people take beer seriously. I think there's also a lot of very devoted craftspeople in this area, people who care deeply about doing something well. Um, and I think the community has supported it. The pubs and restaurants seem to also believe in the idea of um, shopping and enjoying things that are local and supporting and celebrating local craftsmanship. I think that's been the magic recipe for this area. Um, the fl uh, we have uh, a number of flagship beers right now. We're circulating three or four different beers to most of the pubs, but at any time of the year we might have five, six, seven, we have ten beers at a time. Um, so uh, what I've got in my hands right here is the one that's probably most common in most of the pubs, and this is called the Starter. It's our Session IPA, but we did it our way, and we're all IPA drinkers, but I think that m most of your audience will know India Pale Ales tend to be fairly big, Beers, they tend to have an alcohol content of between 6.8 and 7% alcohol by volume and uh, you get filled up pretty quick. There's a little bit too much malt for a lot of people and so what we did, decided to do is to make a session beer, which a session beer meaning something that you would um, be able to have two or three pints, not feel overwhelmed by and get on with your day. This is beer is, is comes in at 4.8% alcohol. It's got approximately the same hop bill as a regular IPA but with less malt which means less alcohol at the end of the day. It's brewed with Galaxy Hops, and Galaxy, Galaxy Hops are an Australian um, hop known for having a sort of a citrus or almost like a, a tangerine, like opening up a tangerine kind of nose to it. It comes across clean, um, refreshing, a little bit bitter, and very, very citrusy. And uh, it's, like, um, it's like my orange juice. <laughs> We also have um, three or four different beers in circulation now at most pubs. Uh, one of our uh, most popular is something called the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger is our farmhouse saison, and it's uh, characterized by having sort of a black pepper or a cracked pepper kind of nose and taste to it, a little spicy. comes from the yeast that we use. We've also added um, some local honey from just down the road over here, uh, clover honey, and uh, some fresh uh, spearmint. The result is a, is a beautiful sort of integrated beer that has herbal, and um, citrus and floral and, uh, and spicy notes. And it's about 6.5% alcohol, true to the farmhouse style, and uh, also very refreshing. It's got a little bit of a uh, nice tingly spice character to it. Uh, we've been a little bit overwhelmed by our success to date. Um, and one of the adages about brewing is the minute you start, you're too small. And I think that's probably um, something that we're going to have to deal with very shortly. We are looking for a new location, a larger location, that allows us to have brew to capacity and to grow as we, we need to. Um, we also uh, are looking at opportunities, uh, different properties, and obviously uh, there's four and a half of us here right now. and. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> we're going to need some help pretty soon, so we need to grow to be able to uh, get those economies of scale that are necessary to be a successful brewery.